President Trump said Friday the White House learned a lot about loyalty and the vote-getting process following the dramatic failure of a Republican-backed bill that would have made good on a campaign promise to repeal and replace Obamacare. Trump said House Republicans were 10 to 15 votes shy of getting the bill passed and blamed the defeat on Democrats. House Speaker Paul Ryan pulled the bill minutes before a vote was to take place as it became apparent there was not enough support for passage. Democrats were united against it, and a conservative bloc of Republicans were unmoved by 11th-hour negotiations. We had no Democratic support, Trump said from the Oval Office. They weren't going to give us a single vote. The president added that the best thing that can happen is that we let the Democrats, that we let Obamacare continue, they'll have increases from 50 to 100 percent, he said. And when it explodes, they'll come to me to make a deal. And I'm open to that. Trump claimed he never said he would repeal and replace Obamacare within 64 days though he repeatedly promised during the campaign he'd do it on day one. We have big, ambitious plans to improve people's lives, he said. He predicted that Democrats would soon reach out to him to work on a new health care bill, because costs are rising too much and choices are dwindling under Obamacare. Perhaps the best thing that could have happened, happened today, because we'll end up with a truly great health care bill in the future, the president said. They're going to reach out when they're ready. Whenever they're ready, we're ready. I think having bipartisan, bill, would be a big, big improvement. The GOP bill would have replaced Obamacare, which mandated that almost every American have health insurance. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi Democrat California, called the failed GOP health care bill a victory for the American people. Instead of picking up support as Friday wore on, the bill went the other direction, with some key lawmakers coming out in opposition. Rep. Rodney Ferlingason, RNJ, chairman of the powerful Appropriations Committee, said the bill would raise costs unacceptably on his constituents. Rep. Barbara Comstock of Virginia, a key moderate Republican, and GOP Rep. David Joyce of Ohio also announced no votes. votes.